Hey Gypsies, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm laughing because I have literally been looking everywhere for my phone and it was laying right on the bed, right where I've been sitting, right where I've been looking. And not only that, it was laying top up and it was lit up. What is going on? Okay. So after saying that, let me just say, welcome to another Timu review. Okay, guys. So I got some goodies up in here and I'm excited to bring them to you guys. Um, hopefully you guys like my Timu reviews and hauls and all that fun stuff. And let me just say, I've got a lot of stuff in my cart right now, but I've been having trouble getting my payment to go through, not anything on my end. So I'm kind of agitated about that because I really want some of this stuff before it sells out. You know how that goes. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and dive into what I found. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all this first. It got a little flattened out, but you guys know I'm deeply into hats and stuff like that. So when I saw this hat, I'm like, girl, put that in your buggy right now. You got to have it. Um, and they pack them up really good usually. Um, it does have this plastic thing in it. Um, so here's the hat. I feel like it needs to, needs to be a little, um, you know, you got to kind of shape that bill in a way. But here's the hat. Check this out. Oh my gosh. I love anything Sugar Skull. And this hat is bling. It's Sugar Skull. It's awesomeness and it was only five dollars on something so you really can't beat that um as always guys i will leave the links to everything in the description box along with my code for new users so this is your sign if you have not ordered yet but you've been wanting to i would do it um but i love i just love man i just love everything they have um so yeah i just I look at the colors on this skull patch Look at the bling, guys. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this hat. So it does that little number in the back, so you can put it tight as you need it. And that's a winner. Like, that is so much of a winner, I can't even say. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, but you like me and my content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now and become part of the Gypsy family. Now, I do have three different wigs to show you guys, and I'm going to show them at different times because we don't want to bore you with all the wigs, but let me just say, I got me some more wigs, okay? Um, that one wig that I have, which is a headband wig, um, that is red. I've worn it on a couple of Timu videos. I love that wig, okay? The hair looks like super full. And it just, I don't know, I just love that wig. It stays put really good, and it's phenomenal. So I'm like, let me go look at that wig, and then they had different colors. So I went ahead and got a couple different colors of that same style wig. So this is the first one, and oh my god, it's like a dark brown. Um, definitely darker than my original, not my original hair. Okay, let's be real. Um, you can see my original hair coming through, with, which gray okay i'm getting grayer by the day and i'm not liking it okay so anyway look at this wig so it's the headband wig and it's fabulous i cannot wait to wear this wig honestly it's full and there's something about these wigs in this type that i feel like looks more natural than some of the other wigs. Now, I think all of their wigs is the synth synthetic wigs, but if you see on the end there, do you see how it kind of looks like it has a little bit of split ends? It, there's just something about the bottom here. It's a little tiny bit frizzy. It just makes it look so real. It totally takes it up a notch, and I love it. And I love this color. So I love this wig. It's absolutely stunning. I can't wait. I guarantee you guys are going to see me with these wigs on in the future, doing hauls and stuff. Also, I will be doing more get ready with me videos and trying on wigs and letting you guys pick y'all's faves. Um, but I absolutely 
love that. Okay, so I'm not going to do them all at once. I'll put that one to the side uh, and put that one to the side. We'll, we'll do a couple items and then we'll go back to the wigs, okay? Now, speaking of wigs, this right here is one of the headbands. And with these being headband wigs, basically, um, oh, I didn't tell you how much that wig was. It was $15.99. The wig was $15.99. Um, but I got several different headbands in here to go with my headband wigs. So basically you just put this over and then, you know, around your throat, put your wig on, and then you just pull this over the existing headband. Um, I love this print. Um, it gives me Pioneer Woman vibes, honestly. I just am really loving it. So I just want a whole collection of headbands to basically go with my headband wigs. Or sometimes when I have my braids in and I'm going bike riding, you know, having one of these on, just kind of helps the helmet fit better and stuff. So really, I'm going to be up in my collection on these headbands. And this headband right here was $1.57. So you can't beat that. So I'm going to put that over there with the headbands. I'm going to put the trash all in one spot, like a good girl. Okay, so here's another headband. This one was $1.47. And, yeah, uh, you guys know me. I'm a tie-dyed girl, okay? I'm a tie-dyed girl. So I love the looks of this. I mean, you can wear it with so many, you know, if you're doing tie-dye, you know, if you have tie-dye on, unless it match totally, I probably wouldn't wear it. But with solid colors, like if I had a red shirt on, I think this would really pop. So, or a blue shirt, you know, um, but I love this. I love the tie-dye and these prices are absolutely amazing, which just gets me. All right, let me do one more product and then we'll do one more wig. Um, so I've been getting little, um, diamond art, uh, Jack wanted me to order her one so we can kind of do them together. Um, the last time we tried to do them together, all of the little tiny diamonds, and you guys know how little they are, and y'all know how many they are, got spilled behind my kitchen table, okay? <laughs> It was a mess. There's probably still diamonds back there. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm like, okay, you know, she's a little older now. I'm a little older now, a little wiser, right? So I got her this one. Um, it was $2.48. It comes with everything that you need. And I'll show you the print. It's right there. It's like this little unicorn cute girl with blue hair. I can't keep that too still, but there, that is what I got her to do. So let me show you another wig now. Okay, so all of these wigs basically came, I thought, from the same website, but this one came with a wig cap and the other two didn't. So this one may have came from a different store, but I think it's going to be fabulous. You get two wig caps in here. I've actually ordered those before from Timu, the wig cap packs like that. So wig cap packs. Yeah. Wig cap packs. Um, so this is basically, and I think this one does actually look a little different. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I feel like this one looks more shinier and it doesn't really have the dead end look on the bottom. Um, but here's, let me give her a good shake. Now, you know I name them, but I don't name them until I try them on and see who I feel like. I might feel like Priscilla Presley or something in this one. She, she might get named Priscilla, okay, just for the heck of it. Um, but, yeah, this one's definitely not quite as thick as the other ones, but I think this is going to look absolutely gorgeous on. Do you see, like, the way the curls hang? Now, I don't think it's really too shiny. I think that if somebody sees that you in this, they're going to think, oh, she's got pretty hair. My mind does not go to that's a wig unless it's kind of obviously a wig. Now, I saw somebody the other day, and her hair was obviously a wig, okay? And I don't think any less of her. I love it. Like, go for it, girl, you know? Do you. You do you. Um, but, you know, that one's kind of obvious, and I'm sure I have some that are kind of obvious, too. But that's okay, because I'm going to do me. 
Um, so anyway, the color is amazing. Uh, I would definitely like to get, get it brushed out really good with a wig brush. Um, so, you know, it just needs all to be, you know, no spaces left in it and just make, you know, just make it look a little bit more real, but I love the color. It's like, I don't know, burgundy, not really burgundy, copper, not really copper penny either. I don't know. It's a red. It's a red. It's, it's gorgeous. Mahogany? Burgundy? I don't know. What, what do you guys think? What is that color? But look at the end, guys. Just, just look at it. It's beautiful. It's, yeah. she's beautiful. I can't wait to wear it. Good grief. These are fabulous wigs. Okay, let me get her put over here. Okay, so I got two more wig caps here to show you guys. Um, $1.47 for this one. I hope y'all's having a wonderful day, let me just say. Okay, so this is another tie-dyed one, but with just different colors. There's a lot of blue, um, but maybe too much blue. I don't know. Maybe that's too much blue, but if you wear it like this side, you can wear it either side, you know? You can wear it to where it looks like this on the front, you know, with that little thing, or you can put that in the back. Whichever floats your boat, whichever one you like better. I feel like, though, with the headband wigs, this might look better in the back. But I may try it in the front just to see, you know, how it looks. But I love this. I love the tie-dyed. So $1.47. And then this one was $2.69. A little bit pricier. Um, but it's totally given me Lisa Frank vibes. And I love anything that gives me Lisa Frank vibes because that's probably more of um, Fifi's era. How does this one open? Oh, I got it. Um, yeah, Lisa Frank, you know. But but when she was loving Lisa Frank, the, the, the teenager in me was loving Lisa Frank because all of the colors and stuff, I just love Lisa Frank stuff. So here it is. I think it's fabulous. I love this section here. I love this. Um, it feels a little different even. It feels a little silkier and just, I don't know, maybe better quality even. Um, but I absolutely love this. I think it'll look really cool on one of the wigs, you know. I can't wait. That is so beautiful. So there's that. So I ended up with four. Actually, I think I do have one more um, wig in here, but we're not going to go with that yet. Um, this is one of those crazy things that I am going to put in one of my Christmas package gifts for the guys. Only one, though. Um, this was $2.24. Let's take it out. It's some kind of a lighter. It's a rechargeable. Oh, this is cool. So, this is really cool. Okay, so it's rechargeable. It comes with your little cord. And basically, okay, you can hang it from your keychain, from your wrist. Um, I love the way it has this. And then the lighter, whew, the lighter itself is just really cool. I think, is that a snake? I don't, it's a dragon. It's a dragon on here. Can y'all see that? So it has a dragon on it. It looks really cool, but you're supposed to be able to blow in it and light it. So it untwists like this to open it. Now, I don't know. We're going to see, though. I mean, I don't know if there's a, um, I don't know if it's charged. I guess we'll, <sighs> what? <gasps> what? Wow. Okay. I've never seen anything like this, and I'm pretty sure that this is alien technology, okay? There's not one doubt in my mind that this is alien technology. I can't get over it. What? Does it feel hot? Yes. It reminds me of like the cigarette lighters that used to be in cars. I don't even know if they still put them in cars. I remember when I was little, waiting on, in the car on my mom. I don't know how big I was, probably 10 or 11. She was in a store. I was waiting in the car and I pushed in the cigarette lighter and it was glowing so pretty orange. What did I do? I stuck my finger right dead on that thing. What? What was I thinking? Like, sometimes you just wonder, 
what was you thinking? But this right here, I think I'm going to have to order one for all three because this is pretty awesome. And the price, $2.24, guys. That's unreal. So that will be an excellent addition to those man bags that I'll be doing. That's This is totally unique. Never seen nothing like that. Okay, so super thrilled. Okay, so there's that. I've got my little ring, my little snake ring on, and it's kind of irritating me because I can't really close that knuckle. Anyway, let's see what else we got. Okay, so I got me another diamond painting kit. Yeah, I haven't done the purse one I got, and I haven't done the sun moon one that I got, but I'm thinking once I start, what if I get obsessed? You know, I want to have a few here. I want to kind of build my case up to where I can have, you know, I'm trying to sound like I know what I'm doing. Okay. I don't. I just go with the flow. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I did it. Um, this one was $2.79. This is definitely bigger than both of my other ones. Um, here's a picture of what it's going to look like. And I love it. Look at the look at the moon and the sun. Look at the sun's face. You can kind of see the sun's face here. I love that. Like, I am obsessed with things that have the sun and the moon on them, okay? I love them. So, this right here is awesome. I can't wait. So, let me show you my third and final wig. Um, so, this one is a slightly different shade, and I'll hold both of them up and show you guys. This is a slightly different shade than the first one I showed y'all, but I'm like, why not, you know, because, like I said, I'm obsessed, um, but I think this is the one that I like the best. Hold on, it's caught. What's going on? Eek. Bear with me. What is that called on? What? Oh, got it. Okay. All right, there's that. So let me give her a good shake. So here she is. Look at it. Now she looks more, what would you, what color would you call this? Number one, look at the bottom. Okay, let's hold it up beside the other one. Now these were in the same category as the red wig that I wore the other day. So I guess light brown and dark brown, because this is not black. I mean, it's dark. But it's not black. Like, I've got black on my shirt. I mean, it kind of looks pretty black. I don't know. Light brown, dark brown, brown black. I don't know. But, okay, so that's the other one. So here it is. What do y'all think about this? Like, how close is this? Still not. Like, my hair has more of a tint of red in it. Um, but I love this. I love this. And somebody pointed out, like, when you're wearing wigs in the wintertime, they can kind of be your hat, you know? Nobody needs to know that it's a wig and you're using it for a hat. But if you like a hat in the wintertime to stay warm, these bad boys will keep you warm. That is no doubt. So I'm loving this. Uh, I am obsessed. Like I've got so many wigs and I got, I know at least two more on the way. Um, but I'm going from like one of the big tote bags to where I'm going to have to go to, to a tote box for my wigs. And ain't that absolutely ridiculous? Um, but I love it. I love it. Okay, so there's the last wig. Boom. Let's see what else we got. Um, this is a little car steering wheel holder. Phone holder, shall I say. Um phone socket holder. I don't know what that means. Let's open this. So it's supposed to go on your steering wheel. Okay. I think I see. So basically here's your phone part. You know, you slide your phone in there. I wonder if that thing, okay. So it doesn't, it doesn't twist. So you couldn't do like TikToks. You know how you have to have your phone standing straight up for TikToks on, on YouTube. You got to have your phone laying down unless you're doing shorts. Um, which sometimes I forget and leave my phone like this. So I have to do a weird looking short and put words and stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, but this, you basically, let me see how it works. Okay, like this. So you take this and put it over your steering wheel. And then you just basically, 
hook it in there. You see that? Hold on. Oh, I know you probably can't see nothing I'm doing. So you hook it in there. There we go. And it hangs from your steering wheel. So obviously this is not something that you could use while you're driving. Did I give you the, all the wigs with $15.99. I think I've been forgetting to give you prices. Um, $1.53 guys, $1.53. I'm pretty sure that's gonna come in pretty handy at some point. I just love building up my phone holder collection. Um, they also have different colors. I got blue because that's the color of my Jeep. Um, it did come undone pretty easy just now, but I feel like once it's actually strapped on, it's not going to come undone easy like that, okay? So, anyway, another super cheap $1.53 phone holder case thing. I'll take that to my car. And then here is my last headband for my headband wigs or whatevs. Um, this one was $2.97. So this one was the most expensive one. Um, but the print, the print is just absolutely awesome. So it is a beautiful leopard print. Hold on. Let me fix it. It's kind of, kind of jacked up here. Hold on. Bear with me. So it's a beautiful leopard print. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I have got a um, leopard print kimono thing. It, I feel like it's like the same print. It's very close. So wouldn't that look really cool with maybe this bad boy? Wouldn't that look good with this? Like, I think that would look stunning. I love this. So, uh, you know, wear it like that if you want or boom, like that. So that's fabulous. Okay. Let me see what else I got. And last but not least is that. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm a little disappointed in something. Okay. Um, I ordered a couple of coloring books and I'm disappointed in the sizes. I did. I guess I should. It's my fault. I should have looked at the sizes of the coloring books, but I was thinking, I, I was looking at them thinking, that looks big. That looks like a regular size coloring book. Well, they're two different sizes, okay? This one is the bigger one, but it's still not a regular size coloring book. I'll show you this one first. This one's called Fantasy Fairy Homes. Guys, you know, you know this is going to have some major pictures. Um, they were both, well, this one was $4.94, okay? So it better have some really great pictures and that's all I can say. That's going to be a saving grace at this point. Um, it seems it's very flimsy-ish. Can you see this? Very flimsy. Um, and it doesn't open like a regular coloring book. It's going to open like this. So let me look through it and see if I see anything fantabulous. Okay, so one of the good things I see is there's only uh, the coloring page on one side okay so you don't have to worry about ruining another coloring page if you're using like gel pens or markers or, or something this one's kind of plain i feel like um, but with lots of different colors i feel like you could make it pretty magical um this one's pretty like i feel like they're, they're going to be pretty they're going to be pretty totally oh. oh okay guys this one got me this one got me. It's in a bottle. It has a moon and stars. Um, the stars are on the outside too. Look at that. I love that. So totally, I feel like this is going to be well worth it. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, look at the little inside. The chair. I like it. I do. Oh, all different colors, guys. You can make that look so magical. A tree house. A tree house. Okay. All right. I'm not disappointed. This one's different. Let me just show you guys. It's dark. It's on dark paper. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. This is going to provide hours of wonderful fun. Oh, a village. A village. Look at that. Looks like birdhouses almost. Okay, so there's that one. $4.94. Okay. Next. This one was even more expensive and it's tinier. So this one was $4.99. And the name of it is just Mermaid. Mermaid Coloring Book. So 
we'll see. Let's just see. Let's just take a gander. I love the front picture. It better be spectacular. It's beautiful. It's beautiful mermaids. They're all absolutely gorgeous, sexy mermaids. Okay. Can I say sexy mermaid on here? I don't know. But like these are voluptuous, <laughs> sexy mermaids. Um, maybe not all voluptuous, but you know, like big hair, big hair. Like we love our big hair, don't we? Like, the sexy mermaids. That's all there is to it. Um, well, this is cute. This is like more of a little girl mermaid. Super cute. Oh, we have a mermaid and a merman. It looks like they're in love to me. What do y'all think? Mermaid love. It's the best, right? Um, look at this girl. Like she's, she's kind of going on. Beautiful. These mermaids. I just can't look at her eyes. These are gorgeous mermaids, okay? I don't know. So there's that. All right. This right here. I got this for a Christmas present because I've got one that I, th and I thought I ordered the same thing, but it's a lot littler than the one I ordered. So basically, this is what it looks like. And we're going to open it because I might, I will, because I, I will reorder it for the person I was thinking of. I'm not giving any names right now because I don't want anybody to know their Christmas present. Um, but basically here it is. Okay. Uh, it's a hair thing. Okay. So basically it's a magnet. Look at that. Oh, baby. That's cool. So I'm going to show you guys like, I don't know how I'm going to show you guys, but we are going to go for it. Especially since the magnets caught on my earring. Um, I'm going to wrap it around my ponytail and the snake necklace or the snake ring is getting in my way. Okay, hold on. Bear with me. We're going to, maybe if I look in here. Um, oh, I think I just unwrapped it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, this might, okay. I can't look at myself and do it. You know, I got to feel it. I've got to feel it. So, okay. Bear. Bear with me. I know. I'm ridiculous. I understand, but I just want to show you guys how cute it can look. I feel like now it's not like I got another one that's big and it's bendy. Okay. All right. So I got it done. Okay. So how cute is that? Right. I like it. Now the top one looks a little loose, but you can fiddle with it, fix it the way you want to, you know, I like it. I think it's really cute. So anyway, uh, my, my, the one I was talking about was bigger and it has like a wire in it and you can wrap it and it really goes good on buns and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm really digging this one. I think it's really pretty. So there's that. $1.48. I would like to have multiple colors, which I probably will in the future because that's how I roll. I know. Um, okay. So we have an opal. Hold up. An opal healing crystal. Um, this bad boy was a dollar seven, guys. And I have a lot of different things like that. And I just had to order it because it looked big. And, and I mean, it looks it looks about the size that it's, that I thought it was in there. So I'm not disappointed in the size. And honestly, I think it's absolutely beautiful. But I don't know if it's really opal, honestly. Like. Here's what it looks like. What do y'all think? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's beautiful, but I just, I just don't know. Yeah, y'all let me know. I mean, it looks like a piece of broken glass, to tell you the truth. But I know crystals are, you know, they're like glass. So let me know. Let me know what y'all think about this. Is this an opal healing crystal or not? I'm trying to give you a good view because if you're a, you know, if you're good with crystals, you'll know. I'm not that good with them. I just know they're pretty. It's kind of like that shiny object thing, you know, if it's shiny and I like it and it's glittery or something, or if it's pretty and colorful and I got to have it. So like that right there is beautiful. I mean, it just, it's just pretty. Okay. So there's that. And then this is something I got me and Fifi. Uh-oh, where's my other? There it is. Me and Fifi, 
And I thought about it, and at first I was feeling bad because I'm like, oh, I don't really want to rip nobody off. Um, $1.79 each. These are to put on your keychain. And you see the little shopping buggy on there? It's like an Aldi. It's like a quarter. So it works on the Aldi buggies. Okay. And then I got to thinking about it. it it's, it, you know, you take it in, you take, put it in, keep it on your keychain when you go to Aldi and you forget your quarter like you usually do, you know, um, here it is. Um, and it, you know, fits in. I'll try to do a short next time I go to Aldi while I'm using this so you guys can see. But, um, I was thinking, I hate to rip Aldi off, but then I was thinking, wait a minute, Aldi doesn't get the quarters. We get the quarter back. So it's not like I'm taking anything from Aldi. I'm just having something handier for me to use to get a buggy. Do you see what I mean? So there's that. I got me and Fifi one of those because we're both always free in our quarters, okay? Um, and then I've got this right here, which is a ring. I only have one ring, so I don't have any rings on this finger. So we're going to see. This ring was a dollar and 16 cents. The prices of their jewelry literally astound me. By the way, this did not come from Timu. It came from Kohl's. It was a Christmas present. Um, this ring. Wow. Okay. Look at that. I love that type of stone. Um, I typically end up getting more than one of a ring because I forget. And that type of stone is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Look at the side. A dollar seventeen. Is that what I said? This is fabulous. Let me look. Let me let y'all see the sides. Wait a minute. Look at that. There's like diamonds on the sides. Obviously, it's not real diamonds, but this is gorgeous, okay? Ooh, I love it. I love it. Okay. So there's that. Next, I have my last item here. And this is because one of you guys said, if you're going to do diamond paintings, make sure to get this item. So I'm like, okay, I will do it. I'm going to take my opal and actually cut the tape, tape here. Look like a charm, baby. So if it's not a real opal. Oh, okay. So this is more than I thought it was going to be. First off, we have, that came with this box of individual boxes. Let's open it. Okay, first off, th the price on this was $13.04. So this will go into my kit of diamond painting stuff. So we have this, and then we're going to open it up. See how these are. Okay, so these are four in a row, and you got one, two, three, four, seven. So 28 little compartments for the different little diamonds. And I was trying to see how they open. Do they open all four at once or just one? How do, where, where? Oh, other side. Oh, how do they open? Okay. Hold on. Okay. Bear with, oh crap, I can't get it. What's going on? I don't want to deck my nails up. I just did them. I'm hoping they'll last a day or two. I don't know. I'm going to have to work on, oh, here we go. I got one. All right. So it opens one at a time, which is good. Okay. Because if you're clumsy like me and Jack, like this is something we need. Okay. So there's that came with it. And then we got a couple of these binder clips and we got a couple. Okay. We got a charging cable. Um, we got some stuff here. Let me just see let me just see oh we got four of those binder clips i guess probably one for each corner so this is called a lot uh, a light up okay oh you really any other time their stuff is charged i guess this is not going to be um but there's an on off button here so maybe i didn't get one big enough i don't know i guess I guess it'll work as you can probably work it at different, I don't know. So it's a light board and you, you charge it. Where do you even plug it in? Oh, right there. It's very thin. It's really cool though. 
So I guess you charge it. I'm, I'm trying to hold it down just to see. I was thinking maybe it might be charged, but it's not. So I guess it lights up and it makes it easier to see your diamond paintings as you're doing them. So that should be interesting. So whenever I do decide to do my diamond paintings, guys, I will show y'all. Um, it does have a couple of different pieces with it, which obviously I'll have to check it out. But here's like, a, okay, so the control, you can connect a portable power supply or a power adapter. So you'll probably leave it plugged in while you're using it. So it probably don't charge. Um, it's also called a copy board, which I know sort of like tracing, like if you want to trace something, that makes it easier to do. Um, but somebody said for diamond painting, this is great. Let me know if you're the one that told me that. Um, so basically you can adjust the brightness on it. Um, you put your paperwork on there and then you use the clips, you know, and then turn it off when you're done basically but it doesn't really show me like what these things are for I don't know I guess they are going to like adjust the tilt you know unless instead of laying flat down these are going to probably let you adjust the tilt and this is like something that would make sure everything's in place or scrape up I don't know guys help me out here. You guys know, y'all know, y'all use these things. Let me know. What is this? Is this a tilt thing? I don't know. It doesn't give me any instructions on these at all. Oh yeah, it does. Wait, boot. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll figure it out. But anyway, definitely like if y'all know anything about that, uh, scraper thing, let me know. Do you, are you supposed to scrape your, it feels like glass. I guess it's not. Um, are you supposed to scrape your when painting when you're done to make sure everything's in place? Or would that make them pop out? Like, I don't know. So I'm excited to get started on that. I got something going on at the moment. Um, but I'm definitely excited to get started on that. So, yes. So anyway, guys, that is my haul. So don't forget, as always, I love to know what your favorite item was. Make sure to let me know. And if you like this video, any at all, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you can give it a thumbs down. It's okay. You know, it's, you do you. You do you, babe. Let me just say, okay? So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until next time, guys, bye!